And it was a murder that hit Baltimore hard, especially the Canton neighborhood. 60 year old Victor Malavayavas was assaulted and robbed right outside of his home. Now, police make a huge arrest in this case. Well, the victim was known as a pillar within the St. Casimir Church. And WJZ is live. Christina Mendez spoke with the pastor and parishioners about this next chapter and seeking closure. Christina. Vic and Rick, the murder of Malabayabas more than a year ago now has still left quite a sting for those who knew and loved him. But they tell me tonight that this arrest is one step closer to justice. We miss him very much here in the parish and will for a long time. Memories of Victor Malabayabas are still fresh, as is the heartache after Baltimore police say 23 year old Antonio Bardney is behind the assault and robbery in Canton that took the victim's life. Pastor Dennis Grumsey says Malabayabas was a devout Catholic. It was a, a shock to everyone, and uh, everyone is still dealing with it in their own way. It left a a hole uh, in the parish community. Bardney's arrest comes more than a year after the incident. Charging documents reveal the victim was thrown to the ground outside of his house where he hit his head and became unconscious. The suspect is then accused of stealing Malabayaba's wallet. Detectives say physical evidence left behind on the victim's pants would link Bardney to the crime and an anonymous caller led detectives to where the getaway car was left. A search warrant of that vehicle would recover the victim's stolen property. Parishioner Jackie Field says the arrest comes as a relief. They just pick a really beautiful person to do this to. And it's, it's, it is still hard. Bardney was already in jail on the Eastern Shore for a separate case and was extradited to Baltimore two weeks ago to face charges for Malabayabas murder. Many say the 60 year old victim was an active church member who will be remembered for his volunteerism, his service as a Navy pilot in the Philippines, but most importantly, for the family man that he was. My prayers go to his family and friends, and I just hope he's at peace now. And court records also show that he has a previous criminal history starting when he was just a teenager. Things for carjacking, armed assault, and also robbery. I'm reporting live tonight at 11. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.